Hello all, uh, this is post edit Wayne. Um, I got the audio wrong on the video, so apologies, and hopefully you can bear with it and we'll improve on the next one. Cheers. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we've got an Xbox One S, not reading discs apparently, um, but as we've all had happen to us, we buy things with faults and we find we haven't got faults. Hopefully this one does have this particular fault. I'm thinking, given that I'm a noob, I may try and do a series of easy fixes, um, minimal soldering, um, just easy wins overall. So hopefully this is an easy win for you all. Let's get on the overhead and we can take a look. First thing I'm gonna do, is get some power and HDMI into this thing and then turn it on well, it's not beep on beep off which is fantastic uh, great I'll put the disc in making all the right noises but not spinning up okay good I'll try another game just to be absolutely sure FIFA 16 everyone's got FIFA in their collection we'll try that one No joy with that one either. Cool. Let's get it apart. disgusting <laughs> time to clean good now to disassemble the um, disk drive itself This has to be one of the dirtiest 1S consoles I've ever worked on in my life. Just taking a look to see if I can actually see anything wrong. 
I don't believe so. To release that ribbon cable, I just lifted the, the long black latch. You can see me moving that there. I would suggest if you're going to do this, just close the latches when you're finished with them. Um, just saves pulling them off. However, I can't see anything wrong on this board. So I think, I appreciate I said no soldering or very minimal soldering, but we are, I'm going to release these two cables. You don't necessarily have to. There's one screw, two screw, and three screw here. And when you've released the ribbon cables, you can you can fold the board back. Um, I'm not going to do that just for just because I've got the soldering iron. Um, it just makes more sense to me just to give them a touch and pull the cables away. Just rest your iron on there. And they will come. That's fantastic. Undo these screws. And then gently lift the board out. What I'm going to do. I'm just going to mark this board with an X. So I know that that is the one I need to keep, but I think I'm going to, I'm just going to go ahead and replace the laser me mechanism. So there's one black screw here, one black screw there, and one down in this corner. And then the mechanism should slide out. So that lifts from the right and slides up to the right hand side, wants to come up. I think I'm going to replace that laser from a donor board. Got my replacement laser. It can be a little bit squiffy trying to get these in. Um, this part here must go under this lip, must go under that lip and make sure you keep the rubbers all together as well. You can see under each screw, I'll show you in a second, under each screw there is a rubber. Keep those in place. And then we'll put this, this sits. You'll know when it sits. But just give them a nudge, close that down. Close that one down. This one is probably the most important one. Just take your time. Just take your time. You'll see there's a line across each of them as well. So this white line and this black line, they're kind of guides. So they will guide you in um, to how deep you want this to be. Your soldering, you have I'm sure you can see a B and an R, black and red. So I'll just get those back into place. What's that one? And 
notes. Back on. Cool. B for 16. We still appear to have same issue. Was it the game? Try another game. Try favor eighteen. Interesting. This did just get interesting. Great stuff. <clears throat> so we've done the laser swap. Now, does that mean that this laser was in fact fine? And it's the mechanism itself? I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to wait for it to shut down completely. So this is a spare mechanism. This is the laser out of this drive originally. I think I'm going to put this laser in this drive with the daughter board out of here. Nothing. Is the disc in upside down? Nothing. Still nothing. Interesting. Let's just unplug that. <clears throat> unplug that. We're finally there.
now time to put this thing back together. Cue the music. and done cool final test on this thing just get it plugged in we've learned a bit with this one we've learned don't trust your donor parts question everything and if it doesn't go right the first time it doesn't necessarily mean it's your fault but let's just um swing you over Give this one a test. Cool. Happy with that one. Shame it took so long. For you guys, it'll probably be 10, maybe 15 minutes. For me, it's been a good couple of hours. But um, lessons learned. Everyone's happy. The console is now working and ready to be sold on after a bit more of a cleanup. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Um, if you enjoyed what you saw and you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Um, if you didn't enjoy what you saw, hit the thumbs down button. I don't mind. And um, I will see you all on the next one.